you're watching Felius Foxius and this is a personal review of a book I'm very fond of. It's called Emperor the Gates of Rome. It's written by Con Eagleton or how you pronounce that name in England. He's a Brit, born in nineteen seventy seven I think. No, nineteen seventy one. And his an his books are very good. I read both this the Emperor series which is consisting of three books and I read the ones about Genghis Khan I think it's called the Conqueror um, this is the book this is the Norwegian one so this means Emperor and this is Gates of Rome and it's about Julius Caesar and uh, the whole book is about or the whole series is about his whole life and but uh, this book in particular it's Caesar when he is young from his early days until he is being exiled from Rome and it's it starts with uh, he lives uh, at a mansion with his father or his family and or l their slaves and uh, not his brother but his foster brother he's adopted and he's called Marcus the brother and during a slave um, or during a slave rebellion in Rome, the uh, the father is being killed or gets killed by the slaves. So Caesar has to move into Rome with the and live with his uncle Marius to get er, with Marcus and their tr coach or trainer Renius. Mm they live uh, Marcus moves to um, Greece to join a legion called the Bronze Fist while Caesar is um, stay or he stays in Rome to learn politics and together with um, military tactics you after I think it's two or three years the there's a new rebellion because of a guy named Sala a Roman uh, general he go he is being sent out to kill or there's a rebellion in uh, what's it called Greece and he has been sent to stop the rebellion and kill their king Mithridates and uh, when he gets back the Marius Julius uncle is trying to keep him out of the city and uh, yeah I really recommend you read it it's a really good book and when you read it you won't be able to stop reading it. You then you you buy this, then you go and buy the next three, and then you stay buy the one about Genghis Khan. It's really good. I really I really recommend you to read it. It's you might think it's a bit boring because it's historically, but. I've read a lot of other historic correct books. They can be quite boring, I know, but this one is really good. Even though it's not entirely correct historically, it's some fiction, but there's also a lot of facts. Of, of facts. 